Hey everybody, I'm going to try another video. I hope you liked the first one. This one involves math and it can be a big project for those of you who like to do big work. Okay, so here we have Pascal's triangle. Pascal uh, was a French mathematician, but there are other mathematicians who studied the centuries before him in India and Iran and China and other places in the world. Um, so this is a template that you can print off that I've sent with um, the daily challenge. Um, so what you should imagine is that there are zeros on the other side of these ones. And essentially what you're doing, so there's zeros all over here. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking the two numbers at the top and you're adding them together to get the number below it. So one plus zero is one. And here we have one plus zero is one. Here we have one, one plus zero is one. So here we have two ones. So one plus one is two. Here we have two plus one which we know is three, and two plus one is three. Three plus one is four. Three plus three is six. Three plus one is four, and so on. You're gonna continue doing that all the way down, and then you may even wanna keep going. So. I've also included a paper like this that just has squares on it so that you can add more rows. So I've already cut these up a little bit so it'll be easier for me to show you how to add a row. So down here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our next row needs to be nine. Let's see, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So we'll cut that off. You'll get some tape. And here I have another one that we can add to. make sure that we line it up properly so that it's still in the shape of a pyramid. And then you would, if you want to keep going and adding more rows, you would do the same. So the next one would be 10. The next row after that would be 11. Um, I know some of you like to do really, really big work. So maybe you want this pyramid to be bigger. You don't want the squares to be so small. You can find something in your house that's square. Um, I found this jewelry box. So that square is much bigger. You could use something like that to trace on a piece of paper, make bigger squares. Most people have coasters in their house to put their cups on when they put them on a table. This is pretty big. So just keep in mind the amount of paper that you have if you're wanting to do larger squares and how much room you have to hang it up. But after you do some of Pascal's triangle, I'll come back in another video and we'll look at some of the patterns in Pascal's triangle. So have fun with this. I'm excited to see what you do and how far you take it. And make sure to put your pictures on the shared Google Doc. Bye everybody.